Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to talk about configuring the grid, doing some basic editing, as well as some special things like separating clips and healing separations and things like that. So let's get started. Okay, so we can set the time scale and value for the grid by using this drop down menu here. So if you select, say, minutes and seconds, it will then change the possible values that you can choose. So you have to reopen it after choosing the time scale to see the new set of values that are available. So for instance, when it is in minutes and seconds, you then have grid values like one second, half a second, uh, 100 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, one millisecond even. And then if we switch to bars and beats, then our grid values can be things like one whole measure or a half note or an eighth note or dotted and triplets, things like that. And then finally, there's one more setting in here that you can choose, which is follow main time scale. That will set your grid value time scale to whatever your main time scale is set. So if I set this one minutes and seconds, it will automatically switch my grid value also to minutes and seconds, and then whichever value you last chose there. So if I chose 500 uh, milliseconds, then if I switch time scale to bars and beats and then go back, I will still have half a second there. Then we can also turn on and off the grid. So hopefully you can see these grid lines in here that are kind of dark gray right now. I can toggle the view of them. So now they're gone. And then I can click that same button again, the grid text button here. So it just looks like it's very hard to see the button right there, but there is a button there. You click it and then you get your grid lines showing. And then you can also click the time scale ruler, the top one here, and that will also toggle the grid. Okay, a couple of quick editing things. So let's have a look at a little chunk of audio towards the end here. So we're just gonna look at a tiny bit like of a loop here. All right, so let's talk about some basic editing. One thing you can do is basically like any other word editor or, or a text editor, or whatever you're gonna use, uh, most of the commands that are pretty common to those like cut, copy, and paste, all work in Pro Tools just fine. So I can take this chunk of audio if I want and hit Command C or Control C and then paste with Command V over here and I will get that audio. It will also include any silence that you select. So if I do a chunk like this and hit Command C and then paste over here, I will still have that selection of the silence included in the cut and paste. Uh, and then you can also cut, copy, and paste uh, via the edit menu. So you can do, oh, let me make a selection real quick. So here's a selection. I'm going to start from the beat. There we go. So I've got a selection. I can go to edit and then cut, copy, paste, clear are all there right in a row with their shortcuts. So copy is what I just did. Command C will copy a new instance of whatever selection I made. Cut, the difference is, is that cut removes it from where it currently is, puts it in your system RAM, in your clipboard, and that's Command X, and then pastes it into a new place. So I'm undoing those as I go. And then paste, of course, is Command V or edit, and then paste. So cut removes it and lets you put it somewhere else. Copy makes a copy, paste, uh, places it into whatever new place you designate, and then clear is the same thing as hitting delete. So I can hit delete, I can hit command B, or I can go edit clear. Now that just removes it, but it's not destructive. None of these edits are destructive. That audio is still somewhere on the computer or likely in this parent track as well. All right, so you can, you can get it back usually pretty easily. You're not actually losing anything permanently by hitting delete here because the audio file is still located in the audio files folder where it belongs. Okay, now a couple of cool ones that are not typical of like a Word doc. So one is duplicate. So I can pick, I can very quickly loop a chunk of audio. So I'm gonna, I'm in grid, thankfully. So, and I'm gonna select, I actually want bars and beats so it actually looks like an actual measure or two. So here's beat one, two, three, four, and then one more measure. So I can loop this. I'm actually gonna trim out so I'm closer to 
exactly two bars. So that's a two bar phrase. I can duplicate that, so quickly set it up so it'll loop by hitting Command D, duplicate. And then I'll have this nice bit of audio repeating very quickly and easily. Now when you do that, make sure that you actually select right on the beat or you're not going to loop exactly what you want. Or maybe you are, you can do kind of creative things as well. So if I duplicate maybe only three beats, then I might get maybe a rhythmic change that's kind of fun, like this. So you get kind of a different groove. So you can definitely do creative things by duplicating uh, or looping uh, specific chunks that maybe aren't a full measure. To get to that via the menu, it's edit and then duplicate. So right there, and then again, the shortcut is Command D or Control D. Then there's another one that works just like duplicate, only it gives you a dialogue, and I'll do it through this menu this time. So repeat, which is option R. Repeat gives you a dialogue for how many duplicates you want. So maybe I want 15 and I immediately get 15 copies of that two measure phrase. That's a nice one, so that's the repeat command. Good, sometimes you wanna use the grabber to specifically grab a little chunk of audio, so maybe just like these two hits, or three. I don't love that, let's do this. So maybe we just want one little bit of audio like this. Cool. So if I just want that, sometimes it's useful to separate it out so it's its own subset clip. In order to do that, you can do Command E. That will create a new clip from your selection. So you can also do that by going to Edit and then Separate Clip at Selection. So again, the shortcut's there, Command E or Control E. And then if you change your mind, so say that I separated this, and now I have this that I can grab and move around all I want as a clip, right? So that's useful, but maybe you ended up making some cuts that you don't need or you'd like to reconsolidate these. So let me separate this out one more time, Command E. So I'm actually gonna heal that separation. And in order to do that, I can go Edit and Heal Separation. And that will make them one solid clip again. And that is Command H if you wanna do it with the shortcut. Okay, so two last things. We can also separate a clip on the grid. So each of these grid lines will become a separate clip. And when we do it that way, it will ask you whether you want to pre-separate by a little bit. This is just in case there's a little bit of audio that's just ahead of the grid line. We don't always wanna get that cut off. So often you can put a couple of milliseconds ahead of it and it will slice up that track. So now I can pull apart any individual chunk of this thing and move it around, make changes. That's actually putting things out of time a little bit, but you can see now I have all these different clap hits more or less separated. Now one even better than that, at least in my opinion, is using edit and then separate clip at transients. You will still get that dialogue where it will cut just a little ahead, but you don't need it to be as far in front. And this will detect all the start points of these different sounds and separate them out. And I only had a small selection there, so let me do it from here. Edit, separate clip at transients, and a little separation there. Cool, and you'll see we have all these individualized little hits now totally separated out so that I can move any one around and it does a great job of getting just that one sound. Just the one clap in that case, right? It just gives me exactly what we want. It's very sensitive. So sometimes it will also separate it sounds that are very, very soft. Like what's here? Nothing that I can see, but there's clearly a sound there. Maybe someone moving around or an echo in the room or something that got registered by the detection of the transients. So that's pretty cool, especially if you want to, say, take a drum groove and reorder it in order to make just like a brand new rhythm if you want to, or cut up a bass track and move some of the notes around. So doing that edit and then separate clip at transient separates all those individual hits and sounds, notes, whatever it is, 
And then again, if you ever change your mind, Command H will heal those separations. All right, so that's it for that one. I will see you in the next one.